Well, yes, there are times when people will not listen to you. They will continue to um, attempt to shower evil in your direction. Well, abide your time. Hold your tongue. Wait. We wait for them. We still empathize. We still are attentive to their cry, to their need for help, to their request, to their feelings. Um, we don't cut off. We simply abide our time. We don't hear what they rail against us. What we hear is what their needs are and their feelings. And when we see something that we can help with, that we can bless with, that it's right to do that, then we do. But we don't cast pearls before swine. We do that which is right. We spend prudently our efforts and resources, our time and our energies. And if people are feeling so hostile that they can only be hostile, well, in that sense, you have to leave them to it until they find in the sorrow that comes of such a way of life that they cry out and need help. And then you're ready to help, ready to bless. And that's good. But don't let them uh, rail when you can avoid it, rail against you. Just step away, step aside. You're not wishing them harm, you're wishing them good. But you can't give them good at the minute because they're not willing to receive it. Okay, it's not the end of the world. God is still holding the universe together. We're still working. He never stops working. He never stops working. We have a wonderful Father in heaven. Our joy, gosh, our everything. Am I allowed to say gosh in such a way? I'm not quite sure what gosh means. I suspect it's not quite right. But anyway, we have a wonderful Father in heaven. That's what counts. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And when they do return as the prodigal, well, that's just lovely absolute joy and we wait for that time with all patience and long suffering my goodness do we suffer long at times <laughs> and how we seem to lose patience Lord <laughs> but you don't you are our love and our companion and our joy and that's what counts thank you wonderful one Thank you, Heavenly Father.